Hello everyone, and welcome to Counselor Feature Friday. I'm your host, Brian Urban. In these features, we hope to give you some simple tips, tidbits, and tricks to make your days easier and your patients happier. In this feature, we're going to talk about chart notes. Yes, the process of creating and tracking chart notes. Now, many of you do this on a routine basis, but there are a lot of little tools that we have built in and some that will be coming out on Monday uh, that will make this process even simpler. So we're starting here first off just within a patient profile. And of course, at any time, you can always create a new chart note. So very simply, you do not have to have an appointment on the schedule. You simply just go ahead and create a chart note. As you likely already know, if you do happen to have an appointment on the schedule, of course, you can launch the chart note directly from there as well. So let's look, for example, here at Jimmy. Now from Jimmy's uh, profile, we can launch the chart note. Whether I had launched this from his profile, I'm sorry, or from the appointment pop-up, it will take us directly into the chart note area of the patient visit screen. Okay, so whichever way is perfectly fine, it takes you to the same place. Now, in this screen, of course, you can create your chart note. You can type it in, you can voice dictate, you can use templates down below, right? So a lot of different ways that can be done. Uh, but in addition to just, you know, documenting a patient encounter, let's do some more tracking with this, right? So there's the visit checklist status. This lets you say, let's just take it for example, by the way, this is just a kind of a routine clean and check. Uh, maybe there's not a charge for this, this is under warranty. Uh, we can just say, you know what, that's all I need to do to document this. I can go ahead and mark that as, as completed. And also, I can also note the uh, appointment as completed, right? Because nothing else needs to be done. So right within this area here, you can set both of those statuses, of course, and check those off the list. Uh, you also have the ability, of course, to add tags. So as you are thinking about this patient, if something comes up, maybe they're in a wheelchair, maybe they uh, have low vision, or maybe there's just things that you hadn't... Um, Let's see, we bring up here low vision. Yeah, uh, things that maybe became apparent at that visit, you can add the tags now. And of course, that is applied to the patient's profile um, going forward, okay? If this patient already had tags, of course, I could view those here and I could remove them. Maybe this patient had cataract surgery and it's no longer applicable. We could certainly remove that, okay? A new feature that's been added is also this billable checkbox. Basically, so if this uh, is a, a patient encounter, like I said, that's gonna be free of charge, well, then I can just remove this, right? Because counselor has some pretty extensive tracking uh, via the appointment life cycle summary that lets you see start to finish what has happened for your appointments over time. You know, and, and really the idea there is to catch potential you know, issues that have fallen through the cracks, you know, visits that were billable that we missed or super bills we created that weren't made into an invoice or invoices that were claimable that weren't submitted as a claim. That tool can be really powerful and one step along the way is basically saying whether or not this visit in fact is billable. Okay, so some built-in tools right there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead here and click uh, continue main screen. Uh, you, of course, can sign off on your notes. This will add your signature to the notes. Uh, it also means that any placeholders you have in that text, for example, if you had a placeholder for the, appoint, uh, the patient's uh, serial number for their hearing instruments, right? It would lock in that number. So it would make it unchangeable and it would, actually, it would insert um, the serial number straight away. So not a bad idea to go ahead and sign off, okay? Now, as I mentioned, if, you know, Depending on the status of that patient's warranties, this may or may not be billable, of course. So if it is billable, well, then we would go ahead and we could add items to the super bill. Okay, and then you go through your process from there. Now, another feature on the um, patient visit screen, excuse me, <clears throat> is the ability to lock a visit. So if you say, you know what, I'm finished with this visit, uh, you can go ahead and click the lock option. And that shows anyone else who navigates into this visit that in fact it is locked. Uh, you of course can unlock that later on if you want to make uh, any changes, uh, but that uh, makes a very clear signal that you are finished. Um, so that's certainly a good idea too. It also by locking this will take any placeholders as I mentioned, like uh, serial number, the hearing instrument, and it will lock that in place as well. So uh, this is kind of a nice way to finish off uh, that patient encounter. Okay, so, but here's the trick. Uh, this is nice and neat, right? We saw the patient, we created the chart note, uh, in, you know, right after the patient left and we're done, 
right? But that doesn't always happen. So how do we track? Well, uh, you can obviously use the patient visit uh, dashboard widget to see all of your incomplete um, uh, visits as well, or complete or all, right? You can view that very quickly based on a few parameters. So this can be a really handy uh, widget as well. Now an expansion that we're gonna be making, enhancement we'll make uh, coming this Monday, is that when you arrive an appointment on the schedule, this is an opt-in, so if you want to, you can have it so that when you arrive an appointment, uh, it will automatically create a visit for you. And what that'll enable you to do is if, if, if some of you are saying, you know, have trouble tracking the chart notes that need to be done because I have a busy day, I see patients constantly, uh, when the front office staff arrives that appointment, arrives that patient, I apologize, uh, then the visit will automatically be created. So as a provider, you could look back to this incomplete list and you would see any instances where, hey, uh, this is where I need to do some work, right? And then you could pop in there, create the chart note, or perhaps there's more that needs to be done, uh, but you'd have that alert straight away, okay? Another enhancement that we're gonna be releasing on Monday is uh, we're reconfiguring a little bit. Uh, this has previously been called a checklist. This is now called visit options. And there's a lot of controls in here as far as what you consider to be complete for a visit, right? So this would be typically for an audio. You can say in order for a, a patient audio um, visit to be complete, I need to have some audiogram data, history results, and recommendations uh, data as well, as well as the patient report, right? So you can play around with these settings. You can also say whether uh, you want the floating toolbar to be visible on the patient visit screen. Some other, I won't go through all of these, but just some other areas that you can go through uh, that can be uh, certainly helpful. For example, not allowing reports to be faxed out. If in fact you have not yet locked the visit, there's sort of ways to protect the information that leaves your clinic. Okay, the feature I just mentioned that we're releasing on Monday is called, this is what's called here, the appointment arrival option will automatically create a visit. Okay, so we'll see that again uh, when we have our updates and enhancements uh, tutorial coming out this next week, uh, but you all get a sneak peek right now. So obviously the goal with all this is to give you the ability to rapidly create your chart notes, but also you know manage some other settings around uh, this patient uh, and this visit, and then make this all trackable. So please let us know if you have any questions or if we can assist in any way, please give us a call, email us, live chat us. We're always happy to help. Uh, thank you very much for joining us for Counselor Feature Friday. And as always, uh, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.